a little over three years ago, the lighthouse keeper came to me and said that uh, there was a problem with erosion of the cliffs that the lighthouse sits on, that uh, there had been significant loss after a storm. And when he did his investigation, he realized that even though there's 46 feet left between the lighthouse itself and the cliff face, any organization that was going to come in and have to um, have to get underneath it and lift up would need a 30-foot trench around it. So that made us realize that we didn't have we only had 15 feet left to work with, and one good storm could knock five feet off of that in, at any time. It, it took three years because um, even though we made the decision to um, save the lighthouse, uh, it didn't belong to us. It belonged to the Coast Guard. So we had to go through a federal statute program to acquire it from the National Park Service and at the same time put together a committee. I volunteer and I'm a building contractor and actually have uh, moved several wooden buildings but never anything mm -hmm. like a lighthouse but I thought some of my experience uh, might come in handy and be of, uh, might be a good advocate for the town in terms of seeking the right people to do it and getting it done. But with a lighthouse being a tall slender masonry structure that it's susceptible any type of movement could cause uh, cracking and failure in the brick. But in, case of, in that case, it would come tumbling down. So this required you know, special expertise. We had the services of a uh, research geologist from the U.S. Geological Survey, uh, Dr. Byron Stone, uh, who uh, came and did some extensive studying of the cliffs. We did um, uh, some core samples. Uh, we drilled down the 40-foot um, cores and mm -hmm. extracted the material below to see what the stub structures were so he'd get a better idea of the uh, stratification and the permeability of the clays and the, the elasticity versus the, the um, weight-bearing capacities. Yeah. And it was determined uh, that through both through erosion, historical erosion maps, and through these core samplings, that the lighthouse stood on a on a prominent that uh, was a what he called the red spine of a very s solid and stable clay formation, and the the site where we had selected initially uh, turned out to be within that on that same formation. So, uh, according to his historical data and um, rates of erosion, uh, he figured that that new location spot would be good for at least 150 years before it would be threatened by erosion again.